This painter was born in 1886 in Mons. His father was a master carpenter. Very quickly, he worked in the atelier of François de Bourbon, and soon after that, he studied consecutively in the Fine Art Academy in Mons under Antoine Bourlard and Émile Mott, then the Fine Art Academy in Brussels under Constant Montal, Émile Fabry, and Jean Delville, and finally at the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris. During his time in Paris, he would meet Émile Verhaeren, whose works would strongly influence the artist's early period. Introvert reserved and with the pressure of World War I, the artist would go through hard times financially until 1917. With the help of his friend Louis Buisseret, he would introduce his drawings in a Brussels exhibition. In 1918, the portrait of the liberator of Mons, the General Loomis, would launch his career. And thereafter, he would exhibit in many different exhibitions throughout Europe, to which he would also travel. Between the year 1920 and 1936, he exhibited six times at the Venice Biennale. Hence, he would travel to Italy very often, and there, he would learn from the arts and techniques of the classic Renaissance period. He also traveled to France, Spain, Morocco, and Algeria, but also to the United States, where he was a member of the jury of the Carnegie Institute in Pittsburgh. After enjoying great success since he sold out his exhibition there in 1925. Teaching was always important to the artist. In 1916, he taught at the Fine Arts Academy in Mons, in 1929, he was invited by Henri Van de Velde to teach at the Lacombe Institute of Decorative Arts. And in 1932, he became a professor at the Royal Academy of Fine Arts in Brussels. He gave special classes about tapestry, frescoes, and stained glass. In 1928, with Louis Buisseret, he founded the Nervia Group that they created to differentiate themselves and their style from the expressionist label. Their art was more humane and social, inspired by the Italian Renaissance masters and their techniques. This work was designed in preparation of the stained glass window commissioned for the World Fair in 1935 in Brussels. Transport was a theme of that World Fair, and in the Grand Hall, a model station was built by Victor Bourgeois to celebrate the 100-year anniversary of the first train running between Brussels and Mali, which marked the first European capital to be connected by train. The railway was very important, and Belgium was at the forefront of its construction around the world. Belgian engineers worked on railway systems in Austria, Germany, Spain, France, Italy, Greece, Egypt, Colombia, Brazil, India, China, etc. This painter is Antoine Cartes, better known as Otto Cartes, a Belgian painter of the 19th century. He developed his own style, which differentiated him from the styles of the time, such as Expressionism, Impressionism, or Surrealism. According to Albert Guillain, he was optimistic, full of energy, but very sensitive, sometimes transpiring melancholy. In a letter, Otto Kart once wrote, I will make something beautiful and sad without it being heartbreaking, because never forget, art must be comforting and above all, must be a 